Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Now, I know we do a lot of arts and crafts, um, but today we're actually going to be doing some science. Now, we use science in our parties. We do science parties and we also do magic parties. And for me, I find that science is rather magical. Now, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about science, which is why I have brought my expert, my friend Jake. He happens to be a science teacher in a middle school. So, Jake, why don't you tell him why science is so cool? Well, it's funny that Sophie says that she likes to use science in her magic parties because it's actually my middle school science teacher who used to do a lot of magic tricks or used to what we think were magic tricks in front of this class for us that got me first engaged in science. You mean when you were a kid? When I was a little kid, yeah. Cool. Actually, even when I was in college, too. Those physics classes, they were always trying to mess with your mind. Oh, that's really cool. So what, so what can we do that's a sort of magical science today? Well, I think what we're going to do today that is really simple and really fun, and you could either use it, you could either think about it sciencey, but it really, you could use it really as a way of trying to show you can do magic. Really? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with this first one. We're going to take a little bowl here okay. and add just a little bit of water. So how much so water? Just till you whenever. It doesn't really matter. Like about there? Or, yeah, that's great. Okay. And then a little pepper, which we all should have a little bit lying around the house. And we're going to sprinkle it and we're going to kind of just float right across the top. So this is kind of like kitchen science, right? Because, I mean, this is stuff that you can find in any average kitchen. Absolutely. Okay. And cool. it's, you know, it's, it, it's really, you know, water is a really fun thing to work with because mm -hmm. water is actually one of these substances that's really kind of a tricky substance. It doesn't always behave like everything else. Can we put more uh, pepper in there? Sure, yeah. Some of the pepper will sink to the bottom, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But, you know, that's probably that's probably plenty. Is it the fat pepper that sinks to the bottom? <laughs> it could be. Sure. <laughs> um, and so, I always like to do this and you could do this in a couple of capacities. We could do a, a really scientific experiment where mm -hmm. we have three bowls of pepper and water and we could drop different things into them. Oh, to well, see let's what drop happens. something in. Okay, how about a penny? Okay. I got a penny right here. All right, let's just drop the penny in. That okay. was really exciting. Yeah, right. Nothing really exciting. Okay, what else? Now, let, okay, we could drop whatever else we want. But let's, let's 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 use your you know you use a lot of Q-tip. Sure, okay. go for the paper clip. Sure, see what happens. All right, all right, yay. Right, that's really right. not exciting either. But what's really fun is take a little dish soap here. Okay. We could put it on the end of a. You could put it on the end of um, a Q-tip like this. Mm -hmm. uh, a toothpick would work really well. Okay. Your finger, if you really want to seem my like finger? you're, okay. if you're the mag magician here, and then you put it in the middle of the pit bowl here. No way! Yeah, and so you notice like all the pepper goes flying towards the side. Oh, that'd be so cool for like a science, like a like a magic thing where you were like. Badishko! Exactly. And then, like all the pepper would go out to the and you, outside. And you could do this on a huge capacity. Imagine having a big, huge, giant. Oh, cool. Bowl look, 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 look. Wherever I put my finger, because I put some of that uh -huh. on my finger, watch. Wherever I put my finger, the pepper runs away. Oh, this could be so fun at a magic party. You could make, I mean, you could like tell everybody, look, I have this electromagnetic field around me, and whenever I put it in the pepper, the pepper is chased away. That's you you could, but that'd be wrong. Oh. <laughs> so what is actually happening then? Um, actually, it's really interesting. The way, this is what I'm telling you about water being kind of this tricky, tricky uh, substance, but it's the soap. It's, it has nothing to do with the pepper, actually. The really? Pep, the pepper is just there so we can see. What we're actually seeing is that, you know, you ever see those little skipper bugs, those little yeah, bugs yeah, yeah, the ones that, that, that hang walk on the top, on top mm -hmm. of the water? Well, the, the reason that the pepper is staying on the top of the water, right, is because of surface tension. Oh. And so what happens when you add all this stuff in there, right, you think we'd be breaking the surface right, tension, exactly, right? right? It's like throwing a rock. What we're not, what we do is we add a little bit of the soap. Soap is another interesting substance where the soap molecule actually has one end of the molecule that is re it attracts water uh -huh. and one end that uh, usually is going for the other stuff in the water. Oh. And so what happens is we add a little bit of soap here in the middle of the thing. And so all this, the water that used to be attracted to the other one. That's why surface tension works, is because water is attracted to itself. So now you get water being attracted to the soap, and so all the water that was around it is looking for other water to be attracted to, so the water's moving outwards. Right. Which is why you notice when every time you put your finger where, or your soap wherever you... It, it like splits apart. Yeah, exactly. So the water's coming in, and that's making everything go... 
out to yeah, the outside. The, yeah, the water's be and the soap that was the water that used to be attracted to the water that was right there in the middle is now attracted to the soap. Well, that water's looking for something else to be attracted to, so it's moving outward to find other water. So it's Are water. Are we all is, looking for something else to be attracted right? to? Okay, well this is cool. I definitely have to use this at one of my next parties. Yeah, it's really fun, and like I said, you could do this at small scale or a really big scale. As and well. the kids could do this themselves too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, as long as they don't inhale the pepper. Don't inhale the pepper. Right. It will make you sneeze. So for more of these really cool magical tricks that are actually science, come on back to sophie-world.com. Check out what my friend Jake has to show you. Will you do that for me one more time? Sure.